Hello everyone, welcome to another video and uh, today I want to show you a really small and simple script that can delete school boxes that are not used or uh, if you want to delete school boxes by uh, their name you can also do that. So uh, in uh, 3D Views Room 1 uh, we did use school box number 1 in room number three we use school box number three uh, and those two school boxes are in use uh, overall we have five school boxes so when we uh, run the script we will see a user interface where we can choose how or which school boxes we want to delete okay so first uh, option is to delete school boxes by their name uh, and the second option is to delete all unused school boxes and you can also do uh, both methods so you can uh, select over here that you don't want to uh, have any more this entire building school box and also here you can uh, check that you also want to delete unused school boxes you can set a value so we don't have any more that School box for the entire building, and the only school boxes which we uh, have over here are the school boxes one and three because they are used in those 3D views. Uh, we can undo, we can also show that either if you just choose one method, the script will work. So let's say we want to delete this entire building, we want to delete this school box number one. We know that uh, this school box is in use but okay we want to delete that and for example school box number four so school box number one school box number four and this entire building school box okay school boxes left are number three and number two okay and finally if we just check that we want to delete all our new school boxes that will also uh I'll leave just those uh, school box number one and number three uh, which are in the use and that's pretty much it now I will show you the script in Dynamo okay uh, this is the entire script so uh, at first we need to filter only uh, 3d views so we will call uh, views uh, and then uh, let's run the script for example let's uh, remove this entire building and all onions okay uh, so uh, we did retrieve all views that we have in the project so we did uh, f we want to find all uh, 3d views so uh, over here on the import we will continue with the 3d views now uh, we have two separate things we uh, need to find all the school boxes which are not in use and we also uh, need to provide to the user option to choose uh, if uh, the user want to delete uh, some school box by the name so at first let's go with the uh, name so we did call all school boxes over here and we want to uh, know their names we will provide uh, the names and the school boxes id uh, to the user interface uh, over here so for the list view we have this node for the boolean input because uh, the question is if you want to delete unused school boxes yes or no so that is a boolean uh, all of that will deliver to the multiple input form over here we have all ids so we did call over here all school boxes and we will proceed with that over here but before that we need to find uh, all unused uh, school boxes so so uh, for the 3d views uh, we want to uh, retrieve the value of parameter school box so each 3d view has a parameter called school box and when you retrieve the values for that parameter uh, if the view uh, use some school box you will have over here your id uh, of those school boxes if you don't use school box in some 3d view you will have as a value none so okay um, 
over here uh, we did just filter the uh, views and school boxes uh, which are in use and now over here from one side you have all school boxes over here you have use school boxes so when you call difference node uh, the only uh, elements which we left are the uh, ids of the school boxes which are not uh, in use okay so uh, for uh, those ids now we want to have an element or here the user will choose uh, school boxes it will choose by the name now we will combine what the user chose and those unused uh, school boxes we will flatten that it can happen that uh, the user choose something which is already unused so we will have overlapping uh, and we want to have only unique items now uh, we also need to read uh, if the user choose that uh, uh, the user want to delete unused nodes uh, then uh, we will proceed with uh, this uh, with this logic over here uh, if no, then we will just pr proceed with what whatever the user chooses in the list uh, in the user interface. And finally, when we have those elements, uh, now we can delete those code boxes. And that is the entire script. Thank you for watching. Bye.